All new at 11 now to a lawsuit on mistaken identity filed against Walmart and a Hernando County deputy alleging racial profiling and a false arrest. And the incident was all caught on camera. You can see here the man is very confused and doesn't know why he's being arrested. Yeah, he's been, been mistaken here for someone else and his lawyers say it's all because of his race. ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez looks into exactly what happened. Take a look at this video from November 27th, taken inside the Walmart Supercenter off Commercial Way in Spring Hill. In the video, a deputy is arresting Tony Wynn for trespassing. A year? Yeah, you can't come back. That was like 10, 15 years There's ago. No what are you that. talking about? There's no limit on that. We're not identifying the deputy because he has not been charged or disciplined for his actions. According to the police report filed, this all started with a phone call from Walmart's asset protection specialist who mistook Nguyen for another man who had been issued a trespass warning from that Walmart in 2018. The Walmart loss prevention officer reportedly directed the deputy to Nguyen, saying that's him right there. Nguyen's attorney claims they look nothing alike. You cannot profile a person just because their race or what they look like at minimum. Norman, at minimum, law enforcement should have asked him, what is your name? Do you have identification? The deputy says when he showed up, he called out the name of the man he thought he was looking for and Wynn turned around to address him. It wasn't until Wynn got to the jail that he says authorities finally asked for his ID. Wynn's attorneys shared this video with us, which they say will be used as evidence in this lawsuit. Uh, I was able to confirm your ID at the jail. Um, it's, you're not the person he was looking for. You have not been trespassed. And so I'm taking you back to your house. And for me personally, I apologize. Sometimes identities get mixed up. The Hernando County Sheriff's Office did send me this trespass warning from 2013 for win at that same Walmart. And in January, the Sheriff's Office sent us a statement backing up their actions in making the arrest. In part, it says, quote, the trespass warning issued at Walmart was still in effect after never having been rescinded by officials there. Therefore, probable cause existed for the arrest of Tony Wynn for the trespass in question. He was processed and charged accordingly. End quote. On Thursday, Wynn's attorneys filed a federal lawsuit against Walmart, the deputy and the loss prevention officer for $10 million. Wynn tells me he's just looking for justice. I'm so anxious. I mean, I'm still nervous. You know, I, I, when I drive, I have dash cams in all my cars now or whatever I drive. I have a dash cam. I'm ready to pull my phone out. Like, I'm I'm still, you know, scared. And, you know, it, I thought it would never happen to me. You know, you, you would never think it would happen to you, you know, it, and it did. I asked the Hernando County Sheriff's Office why Wynn wasn't asked to identify himself before being arrested and taken to the jail. We're still pushing for an answer to that question. In Tampa, Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News. We reached out to Walmart for comment. They just sent us this statement which reads, quote, We take allegations like this seriously and we're actively looking into this situation. We will respond as appropriate in court once we are served.